What's going on, YouTube? Big O in the building. Hoodie O in the building. Psych. Yo, shout out to my man, Gazer Gazer. Shout out to Spiritual Show. Shout out to Soul Um, It's great to see your content, bro. You know, explode, man. You know, one of the day ones here. But anyway, fuck all that, man. We gonna get into the Devin Booker, Kobe Bryant, conspiracy, bunk down. I'm about to expose that shit. The Devin Booker, Kobe Bryant, there's some shit that really just came in my head, the downloads, the information from within came to me. And I'm going to debunk the Kobe Bryant and the Devin Booker sacrifice. Now, I'm about to put you on game. So, for all of you who know, Kobe Bryant scored 81 points in the NBA game. Kobe Bryant is the... He's the second. Kobe Bryant is the second all-time most points in the NBA game. And David Robinson is at number third, I believe. And Devin Booker is fourth all time for points in the NBA game. Devin Booker scored 70 points in the NBA game. I want to say it was it was March 22nd. Now, that's fucking crazy if you think about it. It was March 22nd. Kobe Bryant scored 81 on January 22nd of 2006. That's when Kobe Bryant had scored 81 points. Now we're gonna debunk these, you know, these these hidden messages and these numbers and these correlations of responses. You know, whatever the fuck word I just made up right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's put two and two together. So we already exposed Devin Booker is fourth all time for points in the NBA game. Kobe Bryant is number two for all time points in the NBA game. Two plus four. Put that together. Twenty-four. Not literally. Two four. <laughs> That's literally Kobe Bryant's number. So you know, there's conspiracies of Devin Booker being Kobe Bryant's son. Now I want to tell you, for the most part, that is true. Um, Kobe was fucking with them white women, and second of all, it's a lot of shit with them being going on, cloning all that shit. The Jimmy Butler Jordan situation. A lot of these people in the NBA are actually clones. Um. Now, it could sound crazy to hear from inside out, but it's the truth. So shut the fuck up. Okay, now let's get back to the main subject of the story. Okay, like I said, Kobe Bryant was number two all time. Devin Booker's number four all time. Now, this is where she gets a little more scary. Okay, so like we said, Kobe Bryant scored that 81 in 2006 of January 22nd. Okay, now you got to remember, this is where shit gets a little freaky and weird this is where she gets a little like you know clear as day 11 years later now let me put this in more depth you gotta understand Devin Booker scored 70 and Kobe Bryant scored 81 points um 70 plus 11 is 81 so go back to when score when Kobe scored 81 11 years Later, later, 11 years later, Devin Booker scores 70 points. Now, we already did the math. 70 plus 11 is 81. Now, so on 2017 of March 22nd, Devin Booker scored 70 points. Now, you kind of see where shit's getting a little, like, when numbers are starting to add up now. Kobe scored 81 in 20, 2006. 11 years later, Devin Booker scored 70, 11 points less than Kobe's 81, 11 years later. Now, you got to see it from, I mean, it gets even more weirder, honestly. That right there is skeptical. As far. It's not even done, though. You got to realize that it was a month apart. Kobe scored 81. March 22nd. No, I'm sorry. January 22nd. I'm fucking retarded. Kobe scored at 81 March 22nd. Devin Booker scored 70 on March 22nd. Kobe scored 81 January 22nd. What number does Devin Booker wear? Now, we all know Devin Booker wears number one. January 22nd to March 22nd, one month later. You see that comparison? One month later, that's how Devin Booker got the number one. 
Now, it gets deeper. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you give Devin Booker a ball, dude, that nigga might as well be young Kobe. They both some clutch-ass players, man. Devin Booker's a great hooper. But I just had to expose... I mean, it's, it's, it, I ain't even going to a, a fucking PowerPoint. If I would've made a PowerPoint, I would've destroyed this shit. But that's just some info that came from within the clearest day numbers. I mean, we can get into the King James situation. King James ruled over three kingdoms. LeBron James called himself King James. LeBron James has played for the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James has played for the Miami Heat. And LeBron James has played for the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron has won a ring on the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Miami Heat. And he's won a ring on the Los Angeles Lakers. Therefore, he ends it all with the Lakers. King James has ruled over three kingdoms. These numbers are, you know, continuously repeated over and over and over again. And they're consistently being ignored because half the world or majority of the world is sleep. You have to wake up and realize this shit. You know, just me debunking that Devin Booker situation. I don't know if I could have done it a lot better. But for the real ones, you definitely understand what the fuck's going on and how that situation fucking works. Okay? Um, but not yet. Um, I took a little break from YouTube. I'm back on this bitch. Grinding, nigga. You know, I ain't all that editing goofy shit. We not into that. We keeping it straight, raw, unedited, uncut, straight bangers, straight knowledge, straight from within, straight from the crown chakra, straight from the third eye. Remember, always see with this and not these two eyes because when you see with this, you can see more in depth. Hey, man. What do you say? Gazer, gazer. Nah, we not gazer, gazer, man. Shout out to the Soul Illuminati. Like I said again, shout out to Spiritual Soul. Shout out to God Briller. God Chiller. That's Soul Illuminati's younger brother, if y'all guys don't know. That's how way back I go, man. You feel me? Yo, you know how I, I know niggas can t prove I'm an OG Soul Illuminati fan. All I got to do is say is, t what, what the fuck? Billy. When some of them I used to make them videos of fucking Lil Bill, I can't, I can't remember. Like, a little white boy on 2K15. He used to play GTA with him, whatever, whatever. That I don't fucking know. But, man, you know, just seeing his, his channel, you know, blow up and shit like that. You know, to the levels it's out now. Knowing I was uh, day one is just crazy. It just gives me motivation, honestly, to know I could do it if he could do it. And you guys should take that motivation, too. It's big O here, man. And I ain't gonna lie, I just debunked the Devin Booker and Kobe Bryant situation. I'm out. Peace.